like using like a natural pink. This is a, a nice pink by um, Chisel here. 15 OMB, probably one of my favorite. My studio is already, the AC is running again, so application will be a little bit different from the last set. My <laughs> last set, freaking AC broke. It's so hot in here. That's what happened again? Yeah. I think it's the weather. I don't know what it is. It might be the weather. I spend too much money on this damn AC every month. I know. So it's kind of hard to pinch off the stiletto, so I just like take my finger and just do it like that. See that? But you really gotta really mold it in a little bit more. Give it a nice point. Just like that. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Second bead. Ooh, All right, last of the day, guys. Talk to me. I can They're coming in shortly. I'm spend, I can spend time talking to people instead of having you to worry about. You haven't done your late nights? Yeah. I, I haven't. I, I started back up again, but. Oh. It's been so busy at night. Your wine nights haven't been popping? You've been sleeping? Yeah. You because know, after Vegas, I was kind of like jet lagged. With the time change and everything? Yeah. What time did you get in? 6 a.m. Oh, I hate that flight. I flew 10 p.m. get back 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah. I know. Uh, that's why she didn't go for her birthday. Because they said we wouldn't get back into this is ideally what you want to look for here, guys. Just enough apex. I do want to put a little more structure on the nail, though. Hey, guys. Make sure that the nail itself is even. Sometimes you get, you know, with the apex and everything, you get a little bit of unevenness. Put a little powder on there, let it dry a little bit. You mold it in there lightly. Give it more. Okay. Oop. You didn't realize. Bloopers. Yeah, bloopers. <laughs> and if you're a student, post in your student group. I want my students to be able to see this. Hey, you got the notification? Yeah, a lot of people got notifications. Okay. I said I didn't get the notification. Hey, Tommy, how are you? Pretty much like that. Rinse and repeat. And of course, this is going to be a bigger nail, so I'm going to have a bigger bead. Oh, Jennifer, you're going to have a bigger bead. Yeah, I'm 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 so I know that my next next bead is gonna be kind of like my apex bead. When the part is ready, I'll be able to move it throughout the nail. When it's kind of medium cooking like this, you actually can move it lightly and it actually goes down the nail very even. You see that? Nice and even. You don't have to worry about them being too thin or too thick because it's not runny. Of course, the tip, I just pinch it out like that a little bit, give it a more pointed. Oh, how's Jamaica doing? Just like that. Of course, my second bead. So, you see, I do extendos, whatever. Same process. I can use the same size brush and still get the application the way I want it. You know anything about me, I go just enough apex. I don't try to go too crazy with the apex. We never have any issues, so. Blend it into the next bead. Kind of like an ombre. During our classes when we teach, this is literally we teach on like little swatch sticks. This is about the size of the swatch stick. 
Some students can do it in two beats. That means they can they can literally do anything after that. Say hey to Whitney. Hmm? Whitney. As he said, it's been a long time since she has been in. Has it? So that means she's been busy. I know. She's been working in silence. It's good for her. That's how you're supposed to learn. Nice structured set. Make sure nice everything's clean. Because remember, we have to add stones to this. I don't want it too bulky because the bulkier it is. It's not going to look good with the stones. I want nice, even consistency. Powder in the nail. Leaves me no work or none at all. But later, whenever I do my hand filings, it gives me more time to do my stone work. Just like that. See so where it's thicker in the apex area? That's all I need. No. This is Jasmine. Who's JT? I don't know who's JT. You got a JT? I don't know who that is. When it's ready to move, I'll move it. Some people say longer nails are easier to do, mm. in a sense, you have a lot of space. I like to pinch that off. There's a little bubble there. So, what's going to happen with this one? Remember you put the brush in there next Oh, time. yeah. It's probably a cluster yeah, of powder that was dried. I'll fix that later with a little bit of powder. This is the important bead right here for a lot of you guys that want to be able to make sure you get no flooding in the cuticle, yet have good foundation. Make sure you place it right on top of the apex bead. Nudge the powder forward. Tap, tap, tap. Acrylic after my grandmother got really sick. I took care of her, so I started press ons. It's been going well until I came back to acrylic. Yeah, press ons. Girl, press on game. It's, it's, a, it's a whole gang out there for press ons. Yeah. My friend do press ons. Yo, I, my team, some of my team members, they do some bomb ass press ons. Press really? Ons. Yeah, they press, their press ons sell for like three, four hundred dollars. That's how much a friend's selling there as well. Really? Uh huh. People buy them? Yes, people buy them. She has How like, good is she? She has a whole clientele. And like right now she's supposed to stop taking clients, but she's still taking her, you know, her regulars. Don't she's not learn how to do nails? She wants to. She wants to do acrylic. She got her It's rare already. to sell press-ons for 300 though. Not a lot of people can do that unless they're known. I like, think it's her designs. And she has her client. Like she really favors the... LBGT community. Look, for the how, look how clean that is, guys. That's how application should be like. That's the name. Of your client gave when she was making dinner reservation because she didn't want to tell them her name. Oh. <laughs> I guess one of your yeah, one of your clients said JT. Yeah. No, I'm the ring client. Profile clients that don't want to do their names. Mm -hmm. One with a million followers. Well, the, the press on game is nice, but it's, it's so saturated now. Everybody does press on, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, she doesn't imitate any other body's style. She likes to do her own. Um, she wants Send to do me some of your stuff. Let me see. Okay. 
she wants to do um like you know how the, he was talking about just having the lottery like whatever you make is what you make and that's what you sell mm. but she does customs so right now there's so many people doing press downs. it was really big like two years ago yeah. when no one was doing it and then like all these companies were trying to get people to press downs for them but now it's changed a little bit yeah well, you know, our clients are mostly, you know, drag queens and stuff. So when they do their shows. Oh. You know, That's a good market. Yeah. Well, we're really known in the community, so. I think the I thought issue, press sounds was easy. I, I, I just don't have the time to do press sounds. Yeah. It's a time consuming, y'all. Her issue right now is shipping. What? The, t the delay. You know how right now with um, a lot of backup and shipments and stuff, um, certain areas their shipments well, are not coming in enough. Well, you sell three hundred dollar press downs, you can pretty much do overnight. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, guys, this is how you get extendals done in less than an hour. One person had a question. You see it? It What's says it? I did a new client now. She had eczema. Wow. And after the next day, her cuticles are itching. That's normal because eczema is they're sensitive to this this kind of stuff. So this is this is she has a chemical reaction. That's normal. If she has eczema, she shouldn't be doing her nails. To be honest with you, if her if her eczema is by her her fingers, she shouldn't be doing her nails. Is it the chemical? It's just anything, any foreign because eczema you're you're irritated. You're you know it irritates everything. So yeah. I, I don't recommend doing clients that have eczema or contact dermatitis. It's just not worth it for you because they, it's the medical condition they have and it's going to be makes you harder to work with. If you gel pol you use gel polish on her, she'll still have the same reaction. Oh, really? Yeah, eczema, you just really, your skin just super sensitive to everything. There is already breaking out normally. What makes you think adding chemicals and because monomer, acetone, all that stuff, it dries out the skin. All our products is news is this it dries out the skin. Your brush is a size ten, right? This one is a size fourteen. Fourteen brush. I have ten, fourteen, twelve, and sixteen. Someone asked what size brush. Oh, yeah. Exactly. No, this is a fourteen. I have to clean my ten. It's a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna clean it. I could do the same thing I'm doing right now with a size ten to be honest with you. You do sometimes. Yeah, I do sometimes. I, I actually like using the size 10 sometimes. It gives me more control. Yeah, anytime a client has a skin condition, I, I don't work on them. Because it's not my responsibility, to be honest with you. And they just gotta understand it's their responsibility not to get their nails done either. Oh my goodness, what state is this? She said her um, this nail shop near her doesn't even do ombre. Hmm? There's shops that don't do that. There's shops that only do pedicure manicures and dip. Really? Yeah, they don't want to mess with acrylic because they don't want to buy the product. They don't have a big enough clientele for it. So what, what's the point of bringing it? And this acrylic texts are hard to find mm. in certain states. So a lot of certain small towns, there's not a lot of acrylic texts because most of the acrylic texts are in the big city. Or they have their own salon. So why offer a service that you don't have the tech to do? So they just don't offer it at all. Yeah. Which is which, which makes this makes sense to it me. It does. It's just everyone there is a one with pedicure before. Yeah. You expect to walk on clouds when you leave there. I tell everybody, get your dang license. Nail salons are always short of uh, yeah. acrylic text. <laughs> get your job, man. Make some money, dude. You don't sit at home and like I don't have enough clients when you, you there's like literally salons that don't have acrylic text. They're just struggling to. Please, acrylic clients. It means you gotta be salon ready. You gotta make sure you know the hours, operations, standards, and stuff like that. Make really good money in the salon, man. It's a six-figure salary. Being an outside is six figures, guys. When you when you get your application right and everything, mm -hmm. so your clientele. I seen that one picture. The girl said she used the Dollar Tree stuff, and her client. All the nails were still good. I was like, boy, application is everything. She probably does a lot of good cuticle work. This stuff sticks on your nails. It's just that if you don't do the proper ways to seal it in, yeah, it's gonna yeah, you're gonna have issues, but
The number is... What number is the acrylic? 15 OMB. By Chisel. Probably one of my favorite pinks to use as a base. I can fill this in, redo designs on it fairly easy. Whenever I do color acrylic and I, I know that the, the client gets their nails done regularly, I use I like I like a a color that's you know more it makes more sense to use colors like this. So you, when you refill, you can actually redo it with a lot of different designs with it. Shops use hair glue for eyelashes. I mean, people do it at home. <laughs> no, they use lash glue. Yeah, no, I hear you. My friend lashes ripped off from the hair glue. I think she like pulled it, and I don't know exactly how, but her lashes was damaged. She said her press arms are top notch. Who? Whitney. Oh, yeah. Well, I had the time. I had someone, I had someone set a press on way back when. I never even have a picture of it. It was like 500 bucks. Really? It was back during COVID time. COVID? Yeah. Boy. That was when press on was hot. Was hot. <laughs> That's when it was hot for real. That was a booming, a booming time. It was someone in LA. Nurses love press-ons too, because technically they cannot wear their nails, and you know. How does a nurse wear press-ons? It's just, it's just, I just don't see it because it falls. Because when easily. they go off, when they go out, it's only for a time being. They don't want them for. Oh, oh I yeah. thought I said to wear. Yeah, to wear. Yeah, okay. so they they love press-ons. Mm. And then when it's time to go to work, you pop them suckers off. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, people gotta realize press sounds ain't, ain't for longevity, mm -hmm. but a lot of people expect it. Yeah. I don't know, I tried. I tried getting into it. I just can't sit there. I can't sit there and do a press on set. <laughs> I just, I lose process. focus. No, yeah. it's not a long process. I can get done quick. I can get a press on set done in like in less than an hour. Okay. Just, I'm just not interested in doing it. It's just, you don't have the drive for it? It's boring. You sit there <laughs> by yourself and just do a press on set. Do it on what? Yeah, maybe. But I don't even have the time to do that shit right now. Yeah. You got a lot of things going on. I got some of my team members that do press on the live for you guys. <laughs> So important when you're doing long nails like this to make sure the structure is evenly distributed. It's so easy just just to lie a thin layer or a thick layer. I really like just chisel. enough. This is chisel, 15 OMB. It's arguably my my favorite one, other than Wave Gel's Pinkiest Pink. If you guys want a good pink too, Wave Gel has a color called Pinkiest Pink. WaveJellShop.com. Nah, it's really nice and natural like this. They only wear them for a short time. They usually ask for, t yeah. Wow, I just knocked this like, application out in like less than 30 minutes on extendo nails. It's bomb like that. It's just repetitiveness, same thing over and over again. What's the timer set over there on your phone? On my phone, 22 minutes. 
22 minutes, yeah. I'm finished oh, under, under 30. Yeah. Under 30. Ooh, that is true. What? I think the last time you did it, like 28 minutes. Yeah. So you couldn't usually take when you don't have a client in front of you. Goals. <laughs> you are goals. It's very tedious, yeah. You lose focus. Yeah, I get bored. Whenever I try to do freaking press downs, I get bored. I don't, I, I'll sit there and I'm like, no, you know, I'm going to go do something else. <laughs> It's not even worth it, not even the money. I just, it's not even the money. It's just, I just don't feel like sitting there by myself doing nothing. Or doing press downs, but it's like, you're not like, and maybe I'm so used to every time I do the nails, I'm do, I do it live. I don't get my nails done. I don't do nails. Don't care for nails yet. I'm factuated watching acrylic nails. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting process. It's a lot of people that watch me don't even do nails. They just like, when they get their nails done, they're like, how, they want how it works. And you know, you, sometimes it's good to educate. Like clients, I love educating my clients how the nails work. Less work for me whenever they break it or have any issues. My clients know when they break a nail or they hurt themselves, they're like, oh, I can't come in and get my nails done for at least a month. And they, uh, they're like, I'm gonna take a month off. And I'm like, why? Yep, I broke my nail, okay. So yeah, so a lot of you guys, you know, a full set under an hour is <laughs> very possible. I'm literally just doing the same steps over and over. It's just the repetitiveness. What y'all have planned for the weekend? Oh, did you miss anything? I can't wait to go to San Jose and eat some food. Where are you gonna go to eat tonight? Where you Nowhere. I, I, I like to, the day before I leave for my classes, I like to rest. Like on Saturdays, I just I stay home. I've seen your little nothing. helper. I know, she's so damn cute. I know, right? <laughs> Oof. You know what? I'm gonna have to get some fresh monomer for this. It's a little bit more. Uh huh. When your when your monomer gets contaminated, basically, is you can't stop that from getting contaminated. Think about it this way: there's like pigment, there's acrylic excess that goes in there, so it makes the monomer work less. So when you see it, your acrylic starts getting sticky and sticky. That's not because it's it's bad; it's just it's just contaminated. So that's why I recommend you guys don't pour too much monomer when you're working. It's pour enough because then you never know when you have to throw it out and get fresh monomer. The last thing you want to do is have a whole thing of contaminated monomer. apex for this one this is a big thumb place it right where the apex area is the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge it forward and we'll let it into the top area and we'll let it into the bottom area as long as I wait until the powder has a nice medium consistency and work with it I should be a-okay clean out my sides There you go. See? Period. It's nice and easy. It took me less than about two minutes to do one nail, generally. And I'm done with my application. Go 
both hands, extend those to little, same structure on each nail, as you can see, same thickness. This consistent, I do the same, do the same thing over and over. But I know damn well this brush is gonna be has acrylic in it, and I wanna clean it before, because this is gonna last time I use it. See that, acrylic? I'm just gonna nudge my finger forward so and push it up. Hello, Amber. Hello, Nail Dad. Thank you. Hello. What? Oh. Happy birthday. Well, that was a big old chunk of acrylic. No, this is, that's actually small. It's small. Yeah, make sure you clean your brush. Yeah. Um, camera, you can see it. Just yeah, I want them to see it because I want them to see what it's like. See how, how it's. It's sticky in there. Yeah. You need to either push it out or clean out with the monomer, or else it's gonna seal up your acrylic brush. So many nail techs just don't take care of their brushes. Oh, even my students sometimes I get so annoyed <laughs> when I'm what in class. What you tell them in class? No, I just, I just see them and use it. I'm like, nope, you're cleaning it because they don't take they don't take care of it, so it gets all sealed up. The key is a good is a clean brush. And there you go, so shape it back to how I want it, and then back to using it again. I'm gonna clean up, take rid of all this monomer. Just keep the brush in monomer, and it will go back to normal. I wouldn't soak it in monomer, though. You can run the brush. I don't know if that, they just said keep it in monomer. You always clean your brush every time you're working, so. Like, you never should be able to, you're ne if you don't mess up, like as in like you don't accidentally like have acrylic stuck in your brush. Ideally, you should be able to clean your your brush. Like your brush is constantly be clean because whenever you, you do acrylic, you always get your brush wet. And you're gonna consistently get it and clean, clean, clean. I mean, then about the the acrylic's not gonna be hardened, so you can clean it afterwards every time. So if you do that every time, you should never have acrylic stuck in your brush. Ideally, that's the plan. So let's get these things weaponized. <laughs> and if you have to, if you mess up, you got acrylic on it, yes, you can soak it in monomers to soften it and get rid of it. But I don't recommend soaking in monomers because monomer can, although it's not harmful to the brush, the more you do that, the more the brush is gonna lose its ability. Hello, hello, new people. I love when I see new people in here. Mm -hmm. That's why the sharing is caring. You'd be surprised how many people benefit and learn from certain content videos I have. So just like how you found me, because you like and share, comment, they found, you help somebody else. Bring this point in nice and sharp. There you go. You gotta do the test at the end. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> punch your mic. Don't punch yourself. Hey, hey Ashley, how are you? I'm gonna shape this as best as I can. I'm gonna do as much as I can now because later on when I bring down, smooth down this hand file this, it's actually gonna get a little bit sharper with my hand file technique. I'm just gonna get the sides in nice and even first. I need to finish the set faster because I know I have to do a lot of stone work. So I'm gonna give myself at least 30 minutes of stone work. So I can cut my shit, my set down in less than two hours. Hopefully I don't go over two hours this set, but I don't think so. I think about an hour and a half. 
little bit over an hour is all I need. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord for what? Praise the Lord for what is is he nailed it. Thank you. Shania Francis. Mm -hmm. Damn, I wish I had spent an extra day in San Jose because I really want to go to like a wine vineyard mm -hmm. in Sonoma County. But we don't have enough time there to take a wine tour. You, guys don't want to like Do you think about going to the one in um, Claremont? Nah. The winery? Nah. I only go to wineries there and wine country. Hey. Look at that. Nice and sharp. Nice and even. I do this what we want. Do a little bit of hand filing later. Yes, Friday. Everybody's probably out or everybody working. Yeah. I remember Friday. Mondays and Tuesdays were like the best days to live if people weren't doing anything. Monday and Tuesday? Yeah. They just stay at home and watch nails instead of do nails. Yeah. What? It is the weekend. Wow. This month went by so fast. Oh, who are you telling? No, I, I have all day to pack tomorrow. Saturday I have off. Chill day. Yep, I'm gonna go in and clean the studio. Pack my stuff. You so. got your wine ready? Mm, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a Q&A tonight if I can. I've been binge watching Master Chef. You guys know I love eating, so I love cooking. <laughs> Do you try to imitate it? Uh -huh. I swear I can outcook some of these people on Master you, Chef. Really? Yeah. Which one? Because like. No, like the I watched them from season one, so I'm oh, just like. Oh, okay, from the beginning, beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all these people are like, what the heck? Like they had this challenge where they had to like pick out like these ingredients and see how many they get right. They picked the dumbest ones. Sometimes. No, it's just like I see these ingredients. I'm like, I I know what this is. I know what this is. Some people don't even know what a freaking star fruit is. Yeah. And they just ruined the whole fruit all together. Yeah, the guy's like, this is a passion fruit. And they're like, oh my god, no, it's not, you idiot. He's like, I'm pretty sure from the pattern of the of the fruit. And they literally cut it into a star. And I'm like, you literally are noticing the pattern of this fruit. And do you think it's a passion fruit? It's a literally a star fruit. And then when they told him it was a star fruit, he was in his mind. He was like, oh, wow. I like the... um. Ooh, I might make I might make spaghetti tonight. Actually. Spaghetti? How do you make your spaghetti? Huh? How do you make your spaghetti? I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I want to make it from scratch or not. It was the I think they have the minute chefs. They have like a an hour, not even hour, thirty minutes to cook a whole to cook a meal. They break down the the portions from appetizer, main course, and then I forgot the name of the show. But I love those, the mystery baskets. Chopped. Chopped, yeah. There you go. I love that one. Yeah, chopped is fun to watch. Because some of these people really don't know. I don't know if compete in Chopped. You think you can handle it? I probably can. I had no good, I had no well under pressure. The episode when they had to use leftover food, that was... Perfect. Using left leave, using leftover food and uh, that was that was amazing. I wouldn't lie to you. I think they had like French fries, steak, and like something off. I could have done it. Cheers. I'm having a uh, seafood Alfredo. Seafood. And yeah. lobster. Huh? Lobster. What the fuck? She really having a Friday. Yeah. Must be nice. I haven't had lobster in so long. I have. Actually, never mind. I just had lobster three days ago. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, like, really? <laughs> no, I, I lied. I lied. <laughs> you thought about 
I really had a lot of it too, and I was sick and tired of it. Mm. So after you're done shaping, just redress your nails, check the shape. These points, I'll make it more pointier after when I hand file, guys. Sometimes with stiletto, you can't really get it all pointed until you do this part. You bring everything out to a point. You kind of thin it out. Bring file towards you. Bring it out to the point the area there. And you'll be able to get that point you want. If you couldn't get it before. Chopped is a good show. Yeah, I love Chop. I love watching the one, the Chop Champion. Chop. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen the updated. No, nah, I haven't watched the Chop Champion one with the uh, June Tanaka. Oh, is it a good one? Yeah. Let's <sighs> see. Yeah, the man tonight. It's like Chop Champion. I don't know what, what June Tanaka, and he was going up to all these people. Yeah. He killed them. Oh, what did he make? This, he's no, a French chef. No, I'm saying like in the basket. I can't remember, but I remember it was a really good, ep good episode. It's like uh, the ones that's crazy, the ones that decided to make ice cream at the last fifteen minutes. Yeah, see how when you do hand filing, you have the point will start getting more and more pointed. A lot of you guys, your stilettos are not pointed enough. Okay, you need to bring it in from the side walls to the top instead of filing side to side, trying to get the point. You can't really. But if you go like this, you kind of get like a spear. Like and it actually is more durable. It's not like a thin, thin stiletto where it's gonna break. It's more spherical. The structure is there. So yes, it has this point, but it won't chip or break or flake off. That's why I didn't spend a lot of time shaping the shape because I know that I'm gonna be shaping the point of the nail. If you guys notice, let me see if I can zoom in for you the difference it has to be like a circular like a curve curvature here that brings it to one point instead of just a flat stiletto so after this i'm just gonna cuticle work and buff this shit and we're gonna go right to the stonework i'm probably doing every nail big stones and have it just cover up the cuticle area Look okay. like little chandeliers or something like that. I don't know. Let's I get where you come from. Dang, I forgot I gotta go get stuff to make spaghetti tonight. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my wife I was making spaghetti. She's like, okay. I'm gonna make spaghetti Saturday. I'll probably get it tonight and make it tomorrow. We'll have a day off. You have a day off. Yeah, I wanna make my sauce. From scratch? Yeah. You use fresh tomato? Yeah, tomato. I can use some canned tomato. Okay, I see you. I see you, Chef Warren. Throw a little a bay leaf in there. So now that I can cook too? I love cooking back before this. I might even do a vlog where I cook on my personal page. Mm. Let's go live cooking. I might do that. Go Wine, live cooking. cooking yeah. and questions? Yeah, <laughs> A whole vibe. Yeah, what do you guys think? Maybe dad? cooking with me? Cooking with cooking nail dad? Yeah, and we can talk dad. about nails and cook and eat. Eat, cook, drink. And then I can just, you know, hey, you, you guys want, what do you guys want me to cook next week or tomorrow? And boom. I think that'd be fun. Not everything should be about nails all the time. I mean, it could be about nails, but we can have different aspects of nails. I like that idea. I'm going to do that. Do you cook squid and stuff? Hell yeah. Um, I want to, I, like, no, I never cooked it, but I want to try to clean one all together. It's not that bad. It's just a challenging thing for me. I, I, I never did. With these nails, yeah? No, I cut lobster and stuff with these nails. What you mean? With, you use the nails to cut the lobster? You mean? No, I use scissors and stuff, but I'm cooking lobster and stuff. I cook. I do everything. Hmm. She said, bring some spaghetti sauce with you. <laughs> she said, bring some to the airport. Wine by, with wine. I mean, drinking it while cooking. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up my kitchen somehow. The problem is, I can only, I only do it at night, so it's like, I'm like literally eating dinner with my family, then I have to do like another thing where I'm just gonna be eating at night. <laughs> yeah, I'm like so fat. Y'all can't have John eating that much. Fat. Done. What, what's our time right now? Our time currently is 42 minutes. Oh, I can finish this set under an hour. You can. You're doing one of my favorite shapes. Yes. Stiletto. Stiletto. Pumps. Man, the club. God, I'm on that song. Which song? Stiletto pumps in the club. <laughs> they say you can handle it. You can handle it. Cooking, whining, and talking. No, I, I can, yeah, but I'm still talking about like having two meals a day. Yeah, no. Two, like just having dinner Too and then dinner again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. I would love to. I, I don't mind, but. And then going straight to sleep after. Probably not. He eats and never gains weight. Ooh. That's Marisol talking. Yeah, that is. <laughs> John and I, listen, after y'all had him traveling and y'all was bringing him all these snacks and cookies, John, I was like, okay, John, you better slow down now. She bought me, yeah. She mean, every, time, every class she goes to, she brings me wine. She got me a nice wine opener, though. Yep. I still use it. Thank you, Marisol. It saves me a lot of time opening wine. <laughs> my uh, students indulge in my behavior so after i hand file this and after i finish in the cuticle work i'm gonna go into doing finishing up the crispness of it with another hand file like a more like a hundred by a hundred what file are you using i'm using a hundred by a hundred and i just this a little bit worn out so all it does is it does a really good smoothing cooking with john <laughs> cooking with nail dead I want to do a mukbang. That's what he was talking about with John. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to try to say it. I, I wasn't going to try to say it, but then it says, then, yeah, with John. What time is it over? Wait. Well, right now it is 646 in Florida. Damn. That We're late? sunsetting right now. I've never been working this late. Usually it's dark. Remember back yeah. in the day? Oh my god. Before nail dad. Back used, in the day. I used to work so hard. Much yeah. like I used to do like ten clients a day. I can't right. go back to that. You cannot. I can't. There's no way my body. You decrease that. I, I think barely even work. <laughs> you sleep. You sleep now. You get used to the relaxation. I'm just lazy. <laughs> don't don't say lazy. No, I, I you really just do lazy. a lot of um different things. No, I've been lazy doing work. I, I literally been just denying clients, even though I'm not busy. I'm just like, I, I, okay, I, that's I'm, just lazy. I'm booked out. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, yeah, that's just lazy. So let's do some cuticle work. This is my fine bit. What time is it in England? Oh, it's a.m. Mm. Yeah, it's usually night time for them here. I literally reduced my clientele by almost seventy percent. And even the other 30%, I, I get even too lazy to do them. It's just like before, I'm just so used to working all the time, like five, no, 10 clients a day. Then when I actually like kind of like slow down and relax a little bit, then I'm like, damn, I don't want to work. I don't want to do it no more. No. I'm tired of doing but it. I transfer them down to my staff. I see. It's 11.45 p.m. in the UK. Well, y'all got nothing to do but sit in bed and watch nails anyways. Yeah. I want to go to the UK. I did too, but shit. I know where everything going on right now. It's not a... And I want to go to Iceland. Yeah, Iceland, That's Switzerland. Iceland. 
Switzerland. Iceland and Switzerland for me. And Switzerland? Yeah. Why Switzerland? It's like going to the mountain areas and stuff like that. What's the name of the bit you're using? It's a 501. It's my own bit that I had made. It's a crosscut 501 sharp. I have this in safety too for those that I don't want to use. She said, Jasmine said she had work watching. How it be like? I remember I used to do Q and A's at night, and people would be at like the graveyard shift, just watching, and chilling. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was on live watching. I was at work doing phone interviews, and I work and watching live. What do you want to come here? Why? Why? Honestly, okay. She's like, why? Get the fuck away from UK. <laughs> um, when I was a young girl in school, that was a country I picked. And I just loved the whole culture-wise, so I want to go there for myself. I wanted to see the country that lost America. Oh, just that's kidding. your reason? <laughs> that was deep. Yeah. <laughs> lost to the 13 colonies. No, I actually want to go there because I have a lot of fan base there and a lot of students that... In the future, when everything's calmed down, I'll probably have a class over there at some point. Because UK, they're, they're pretty... They're not really far ahead in... Um, uh, what should I call it? Um, acrylics yet. They're still using builder gel. So really? Yeah, a lot, of their, a lot of their techs are still learning a lot of the acrylic. Oh. So I want to bring some kind of knowledge over there. Help them out. Have a class, spread like international class. Spread like a uh, knowledge. She says, "LOL, I am in bed." <laughs> That's I'd be like one time I was like watching someone's live when I was laying in bed. I was like, "This is what people be doing." Yeah. <laughs> when I'm working, I'm like, "This is what people be doing when I'm working." They're just sitting in bed, watching me do nails. Talking, bullshitting. You right. She said, do you ship to England? No, we don't. We tried it before. It just doesn't make any sense. It costs too much. Cost Shipping costs too much. We need you now, Dad. I know it. You guys got some great nail techs over there, though. Neon nails over there. Hmm? There's some great nail techs over there, though. In England. In England. European nations. I want to go to Amsterdam too. Why? You can smoke weed? Hell yeah. You can do that in Colorado. You, have to go you can go to Colorado, but it's different. I don't want. Listen. I just. I don't want to spend more money. Yeah, I want to spend more money. International. It's different. You want to smoke weed? You want to smoke weed internationally, okay? Just yes, say that. Internationally. The quality is different. Okay. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're gonna end up in like a hostel. <laughs> you're gonna have your ass chained to a freaking bed. Oh no, I have a bodyguard at that point. I wouldn't be going nowhere. Mm -mm. Like, he didn't wanna play a game, swallow these razor blades. One of oh, them has a no. key. Now you're thinking of some chainsaw massacre Some jigsaw shit. Jigsaw for real. No, thank you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Smoke this weed. You have to get really high to find the key in your belly button. I still remember, like, the first time Jigsaw came out with, like, my ex-girlfriend, one well, my girlfriend then. We went to watch it, and we, I talked to her at night, mm -hmm. and I just talked in that voice, like, hey, you wanna play a game? You're mean. And she used You're to be so mad at me. She broke up with me yes, on the phone I before. Too. She's like, you know what? I'm done with you. I, I just called like, I'm sorry. But listen, let's play a game. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> in your closet. Were you there for I'm real? Hitting or you just yeah, no, I did that for real. And then like I kept doing it, and then she kept so getting so annoying me. And then it broke up for like a week. A I week? Kept, I kept like I kept doing the song voice. Any anytime we talked or anytime we had a conversation, I thought it was funny, but I guess I was just no. That is I was not nineteen funny. and an idiot. <laughs> apparently. Oh, okay, you was nineteen. That's why. Mm, that sense. was funny though. Sometimes. She Saw was the most ridiculous movie that came out. It is. But they milked that shit too much, though. They did. Like, just like how... They were supposed to end it, the, I think, the second one. 
Like that guy died of cancer and they still kept going. Like, yeah. Seriously. It's like freaking uh doing surgery on Fast and, Fast and the Furious. <gasps> the I, last one is horrible. Did I can't stand it? it, dude. I can't stand it. Ugh. Like let it die with Paul Walker. No, we're gonna drag it out. Poor <laughs> Paul. <laughs> they brought missing back, Paul. Yeah, they brought back the one guy that did the most. Mm-hmm. Bye Paul for Paul. <laughs> Fast and the Furious. Twenty. <laughs> for Paul's daughter. That's there you go. His son. Fast and the Furious, Fast and the Furious, twenty five, for Paul's daughter, for Paul's cousin, daughter's cousin. How that? What dad left behind? I, I'm, a clue. I'm serious. Like they milked that too much, and like, the whole franchise just went down the drain. It's not even about cars anymore. It's not. You got Mustangs flying. <laughs> the Rock flipping over armored trucks and shit. Like, oh my god, when did Fast and the Furious turn into the Avengers? Oh, I thought you would know. They're doing a nail bitch right now. They what? Oh, she said it's not loud in the, in the UK. Oh, boy. Is that what? The nail it's bits? Oh, really? I mean, t- technically, no. in nail school, you're not, you can't use this. You can't use this on your test. This is a tool that actually came out later on to help us speed up the process, to be honest Get with more clients to know. Yeah, and also, like, sealing the cuticles better. The school board doesn't recognize this as a possible tool. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I'm like, hell no, I'm not going to hand file on the cuticle area. No matter how good my application is. But it's a very, very useful tool, this tool. They can't deny it. That's why they don't ban it. <laughs> it's not allowed. It's not banned. So. I guess to see who could really crash. I mean... Back in the day, the people used to work with, like... You think they'll change it? No, hell no. They're changing everything, you know. You get to all this kid to go here. My main goal with this is flushing the cuticle. It keeps it from lifting. I had a client earlier had to soak off her nails. She had her nails on for almost a month something and it just will not lift. Do you know when the beginner drill bit will be available? Be back in stock? This isn't like if you want a beginner drill bit, get this, but in a safety. That'll be a beginner right there. The beginner drill bit set I, I launched one time because I wanted to just show you guys pick a few bits that would be great for beginners. But now, I don't really want to force you guys to buy a whole drill bit set. Since the 5 and one is all you really need to do everything. Yeah, like all those other bits are great and all. But do you really need it? Mm, yeah, maybe. But I don't want to force anybody to buy something they already have. So that's why I split it out. So that's why I started making these bits in fine, medium, safety, and sharp um, for you guys here. Um, you know? So you don't have to buy a whole kit for like $100 or something like that when you just want to, that one bit in there, you know? So technically, I'd, I think that'll be a better deal for you guys. I hate forcing people to buy something when they don't really need everything in it. Yes, yeah, so if you don't have any drill bits at all and you're a beginner and you just start nails and you want to buy a whole bit kit, yeah, that sounds nice. But if you have a bunch of bits already and you just look for a specific one, I don't want to put this one bit into that kit. I'm like, hey, you want it? You have to buy all the, all the bits in there. It just makes no sense. For me to do anyways so it's actually good for you so i really love what drill bit is that again it's a, five it's a five in one you can go to my nail dad shop and get it it's, it's that one's a sharp medium though so i'm gonna go through with the sanding band a little bit just to smooth out any corners oh she we had to order another one they lost there lost what the drill bit. The bit. Yeah. From where? How do you lose it? I don't know. Probably misplaced it or something. Oh, yeah. That's why I only have a few bits in my arsenal, so I, I always use the same thing over and over, and I'm always consistent using it, so I, don't, I never lose it. Mm-hmm. This bit's actually a fan favorite amongst my um, students. They love it. Your fire one? 
one. Yeah, my final one. The custom one you made for yourself? Yeah, because they can't find the same one anywhere. The luxury of custom. He says, I'm not a beginner, just wanted them all. Oh, you just wanted them all? <laughs> yeah. I know. I want to support. But sometimes, save your money. Go get some lobster. If you say nail products are expensive, everything I use, I've used for so long, I probably got my money's worth like ages ago. <laughs> I'm just like pretty much milking it. Till it gets to the last. There's people that have my brushes for over a year. Can you believe that? They're still using that shit. I'm like, damn. Glad a lot of people buy my brushes or else I'll be broke. <laughs> I'm using an acrylic brush for a year. I'm happy for you though. If you use it my acrylic brush for a year, that means you've taken good care of it. And you've got your it properly. And you've got your money's worth. See I thought I kind of use this fine sanding band, go through all the corners. Sometimes there's these edges right here with the metal bit, you can't really smooth out, but you can buff it out, but I kind of like, whenever I do really long nails, I really like just going through and redoing this, because I want to make sure my surface area is nice and smooth for my, my stonework later. And of course, I'm going to finish off with the uh, 100 by 100 hand filer and crisp up the shape a little bit more. And then hit it with a buffer and we're good to go. Your brush is the only one Japanese. I know, they, they literally pay for themselves. Let's be honest. If you use my brush for at least six, uh, three months, you've got your money's worth and more. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through okay. with this. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna get everything crisp. It's just a, it's a hundred by hundred and it'll redefine everything for me. See that? Ooh. Now I wouldn't use this to break down acrylic or shape because it's a hundred by hundred. It's not gritty enough. But now that everything is already pre-shaped, I can literally use it to make it sharper. And I'll show you guys the difference, okay? When I'm done with this hand, I put both hands next to each other and show you guys the difference. There's a means to my madness. <laughs> That's why I don't spend too much time filing earlier because I knew I had to go back through again. What's the point? If I know I'm gonna have to go back through again, why would I sit there and file for like an age? So I split my filing time in, in half. Half now, half later. This is my finisher. These are cat nails. <laughs> yeah. You think so? They're claws. No, I'm gonna be getting beat up with these nails. She poked herself right before I walked up the house. Just ran into my hand. Poop. Hmm. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm gonna try to cut them down. But did you die? No, uh -oh. just a little, it's a little flesh wound. Put some peroxide on it. You'll be okay. Okay. You yeah, see the difference in the shape from this one? This one. See that? I just literally just crisp it up to make sure they're nice and pointed. And I'll do the same thing with this hand. Let's be my finisher. This is what you do right before you end. And it's good to have a hundred, hundred on the hand for this.
If you're gonna do stiletto, do stiletto. All the way. Don't get lazy and have it rounded or all that. It's like, come on. What's the, what is it about, about when it's round? It's not stiletto no more? Almond. Almond. Stalmond. <laughs> Buff and we're on to the heart. Onto the, to the gems. Stoning out. Stoning out. When you're working with long nails like this, it takes time to build a structure slowly and lay in layers. Nothing's gonna, gonna happen easily. Shorter nails, yeah, you can get it really quick, but you have to spend some little time with this. She says, LOL, every time my client asks for stilettos, I deliver, but then they always are like, oof, these boys sharp. Can we do it? <laughs> yeah. Like, you asking for stiletto. I mean. I like them sharp. I won't lie. I have scars, but, hey, your video has helped me tremendously. Thanks, now, Dad. You're welcome. That's what they're here for. I told you guys, even as I get really busy as I am right now, I still won't stop doing not now lives. I might not do as much as before, but I felt like the year that I've, I, I felt like I put like, so I put almost three, 5,000 videos out on the internet right now through lives already. So, I mean, I feel like a lot of the community has gotten to the point where they're like advanced to where they just enjoy a live here and there. And then I really think they enjoy the Q and A's a little bit more because they get to interact with me a little bit more yeah. in real time. But I feel like a lot of you guys have grown so much in my platform, I'm so proud of you guys too, like seriously. Some of you guys never even did nails before, now you've got, you've got your nail license to work in a nail salon. There are. There's literally one of my followers, she's never done nails before during COVID, she lost her job, she watched my videos, she took my class. Now she has a nail license, she's doing nails, making money, that's a new career. That's a good And that's how, the, that's how it all. You got Jada into it. She hmm. says, Mom, I want to do nails. I told her she needs to finish school. Then talk to me. She don't got to go to college. She just need to finish school. That's there it. There we go. High school, at least. And we're going to buff. Here's have a nice foundation. I did not pick up my cake. I left my cake. Where? At Publix. Pick it up tomorrow. I am. Um, I can't. Brown has to go pick it up. Yo, you made me. You made it sound like it was something really important. That's important. It's for my shoot on Sunday. Do you know how tomorrow my schedule is? That's why I didn't book you tomorrow. I'll be in a nail shop. All, I mean, a hair shop all day. Look at that. Right. I got a whole color change. Get a nice buff. We want a nice smooth surface so that we can apply the stones nice and evenly. That's important too, having a smooth surface. When you apply big stones, if your surface is not smooth, the stone will kind of be lifted up and it won't look as good. Okay, wash your hands. What's on Public Bakery goes? Ooh, guys. Let's take out the stone kit. Okay. I'm glad I had tomorrow off. I stay using my stained blanket. I feel like we're gonna be doing a 
is some unique shit. I'm gonna try to freestyle this as best as I can. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of tired. It's like bottom of the ninth. Check response for questions instead of five one sixty. But there's five one sharp bit. Sorry, I use only sharp bits. I do have the safety though. Everybody's here for the stones. We're here for the stones. Hurry up. Stoner. Stoner. Oh, I need to put my gloves on. Oh, my studio should be finished by the end of this month. They're finishing ordering all the stuff. I finally get to show my studio. It's a mess right now, guys. I'm ashamed looking at my studio. I'm going to have to have the receptionist clean my studio, to be honest with you. Say that every time, just so you know. What? You don't have to accept this clean studio. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Do they? No. Oh. <laughs> Actually, they did once. I just stopped asking because I felt bad. I, 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 the one he used was shaped and safety bits available. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna get this wax katana a little bit more sticky. So clean, look at that. So nice and clean. Let's start with the middle ring finger first. What the fuck? It sounds like a little squirrel. Where? Over here? Yeah. He's doing bubbles right now. Oh, he stopped the bubbles. This works slowly, yeah, shall we? Mm -hmm. Alright, mm. you sell acrylic? No, I don't. Everybody wants to sell acrylics, not me though. That's what made you change your mind. I kind of like to stay in my lane. I need the acrylic I to the people. That. It's just too much work, man. Testing, trying, samples, testing, trying. Find the right one. I'm, uh, acrylics is, is too much work. Yeah. I will eventually, but a lot of people are, are trying to sell acrylic when they're not ready. Um, the gel that you're using to stick on the, the gems. Mm -hmm. what are you using? This, is just, this is a builder gel, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the gem glue. Mm -mm. I'm using circular ones. I like using this because I'm able to just like make adjustments while I can. Oh. Because if you use anything else, it kind of dries up really fast. And this one is. I you mean, can't have that. <clears throat> the stones they are long. Honestly, the stones is how you take care of yourself. Um, I wear gloves when I wash dishes. I, it's a lot that I don't do. So if I do what I need to do, the stones will stay on long. But. You'd be surprised. It's, just, it's wear and tear, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Wear and tear happens, but. Usually they stay on, they stay 
as long as I'm not too hectic. They stay home longer with the builder job too. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do support stone seal and everything good and nice. That's just wax on the stone. I can always remove that later when I'm finished. This is from the wax pen. It should be fine. Oops. Definitely should be working with this finger facing me so it doesn't look crooked. Schools at eight, hmm? Public schools are 8 a.m. It was at 10. What are you talking about? They close at 10? Yeah. Okay. I'll just go to close it too. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's flash create this jump before it moves. No, put it away. I just put anything in it. Okay. No, they're not Swaskis. I don't use Swaski stones. So I don't really think that matters. Their Swaski quality stones are just as good. It's how you apply it. You don't want... But my prices be the same. Because I'm, for me, I don't base my price off on... Um, my products. I base my price off on my time and me. So my clients will pay even if I use rocks on their nails. I be like that sometimes. I should be paying for you, not your products. Not to say that using squashy stone doesn't increase your work or whatever, but I don't. Look at it now, Swaski is not even available anymore. Really? How are people gonna be able to base their price off stones? Very, very hard, I would say. Not for me, that didn't affect my prices at all. For my work. What gel are you using for the stones? I'm using a builder gel. I'm currently out of stock of my gem glue. I just use builder gel. It's so damn annoying. But I love them. They're so tedious. <coughs> Would builder gel and the bottle work for the stones too? Yeah. 
anything. I, I like using a glitter gel because it gives me time to work with it, you know? I'm like, I'm not like committed to it until I'm actually, okay, I'm happy with it. Then I'm gonna go like here. If you use like a glue base, it just sticks right away. So it just doesn't really allow you to, you know, I, I flash here and then I move on because I don't want to move. I like mixing ABs and clear stones like this. They look really nice together. And this takes a little bit of time, guys. That's why we try to finish our set as fast as possible so we can just get this shit done with. tell when someone rushes when they're doing the stone process just look at their work <laughs> oh. anytime you look at the work you can tell someone who's rushing or just got really tired towards the end and they didn't want to do stone work and they just want to do whatever just look at how they place their stones where they place it oh, the where it's all over the place or something like that because when you do stones i know it's tiring but you if you're going to commit to stones do it if not, then don't do it at all. Don't try. Don't don't want to do stones and not do stones because this this takes time. It's tedious to put every little design where you want it to be. Yes, it's gonna be daunting, but it's one of those things where if you don't take your time, it's gonna show in your work. So why? Oh, she's in South Africa. I have a lot. She of said, stuff. "How do you order? How does she order?" You like, can't. Unfortunately, you can't not international like that. You guys are not even allowed. You guys don't have this, this these type of products over there. You guys can get it, but it might be from like a older warehouse, surplus or something like that. Oh, come on. Do you make sets using builder gel or just? No, hell no. I don't do sets with builder gel. That's a more European thing. I don't. It's not that it's, it's, it's actually the people that do, but. I don't, specifically me, I don't. Um, you can, you can. Correction, you can. You can, okay? But I don't. This is back in the day. Build adjust that's <laughs> a little bit harder to do. They're, they're like pretty much, you can't even remove them to be honest with you. Really? The build adjust, no, you can't. It's just it's way How too How do they long. usually start them? They have to drill it all down. Mm. They can't soak at all. The bitter gel does not break down and. Like in this one? No, it doesn't. Mm. Back in the day before acrylic was a big, everybody used bitter gel, but we just realized that it just. Too much work. Too much work. Mm -hmm. It's right there. And you? Yeah, this is way too much work, y'all. You still do it though. I mean, like a, sli a light overlay over nails. Mm. It is it is more durable than acrylics. That I'll admit. Yep, the builder gel is more durable than acrylic. It's the one they do like the layers. Huh? The layers. That's what no, it's just it's a harder product. Mm. So ideally, it's it's more more durable than the acrylic by far. But um, most salons don't have it anymore, and I'm more of a salon setting. Yeah. So we don't we don't do the set because not a lot of people even want to do builder gel sets anymore. The last thing I want to do is put my my staff through that. <laughs> the headache. The headache. 
It was definitely a thing. Still a thing. Early 2000s? No, still, still a thing in some countries, though. You can't really count Buddha out yet. There are some countries that still do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. European countries mainly still do better job, like UK, UK Netherlands, because um, they don't have really that high, they don't have a lot of access to acrylic, because acrylic generally came from United States. Really? Yep, acrylic was... And then they manufacture over there and then ship over? No, they came up here, they, we started using acrylics for the nails. Back then, acrylics were not used for nails. I remember. I'm trying to make sure these stones are nice and tightly bound together here. I remember when dip came out. Oh yeah, when dip came out, everybody thought the popping thing. Every, everybody thought acrylic was gonna die. Psych. I did low key. I'm not gonna lie. When I seen dip, I was like, okay. Nah. Okay. Acrylic is gonna always gonna be alive. A lot of salons invest in a lot. Of, like a lot of salons out there, they're like, no longer need acrylic text. Psych. Mm. <laughs> Once design started becoming popular again, yeah, and you're gonna do it with acrylic, people want it, and all these dip texts are like, I can't do that with dip. I can't do that with dip. And I'm like, no, of course, no shit, you can't. But dip is still very popular in salons. I, I still yeah. provide a lot of dip in my salon. That's where Jade is at now. I let her get the dip. Use these little stones to kind of seal in these big stones. Why is what? She says she loves the stones going to the side like that. Oh yeah, like a crescent. A lot of people like to do this style, but they can't figure out how to get them like kind of like evenly. And I just really think that we just using these little caviar beads to really add a little accentuate. It kind of seals everything in. Get the hell in there and stop sticking to my brush. There you go. I really like the corner look like that. But you really have to cover every little nook and cranny. You can't have any like like gaps or something like that because then the nails will get like stuck and I see a lot of people leave like big gaps. Because they can't figure out where to fill the stones in. Oi 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 oi. We got one hand down guys. We'll make it. We got it, guys. Yep. Easy for the thumbs. I'm just gonna do the. I'm using home by this time, and I did not realize how long it takes for the sun to go down. You use it home by the time. I'm using home by this time. You can actually get these like these pre pre made already, but I don't know why I like doing it myself. Maybe I'm just a freaking wanna put myself through like the freaking pain of doing it, but whatever. <laughs> stone to give it more accentuation. Yeah. Now do it give it three instead of two. I always tell people when you're doing stone work, just less is more, y'all. You don't have to go crazy with it. It still looks really nice if less. I'm just gonna do one hand, I'm done, I'm tired. <laughs> nah, this next couple ones gonna be really fast. See, just 
That's all you really need, like, honestly. And it just makes it look so nice and clean. A lot of people just like kind of just overload, and it takes away from the set. I'm not saying that blinging out is not nice. I just don't feel like it's necessary for everything you do. And I really like structured nails and like it has, if you're gonna bling something, you know, it has to look like something. <laughs> Just not bling for her? Yeah, like I, I feel like it's like, when people see the, say the word bling out, they think like just throw everything on there. I'm like, oh no. I have, I would have anxiety doing that, y'all. I'm serious. It's a personal preference for me to be honest with you. Like maybe some people that's how they, they work and that's, that's perfectly fine too. So when I say that publicly, I, I really mean it by prefer. Like when I, that's why whenever I, someone asks me for my opinion, I always say this is my personal preference. Like, you know, don't take it as, you know, as it is. It's, it's just really a personal preference. So if, it, if it's not what they like, then it's okay. It's a personal preference. It's not how the world works. Like, you know, if you do it the other way and your clients love you, you get paid, that's fine too. But if you're gonna ask me for my opinion, yes, I'm gonna tell you what my personal preference is. It may not align with what you want, I see too much of that though. What the straight like, up the straight up like just all over and mm -hmm. there's like no I mean like there's such nice stones but there's no like it's, there's no means to it like where is place the shape why is it there like, there's a reason why and it's just all on the it's all on the nail like here there all over the place and you're just like hmm why don't go. It doesn't go together. Mm. Like some of the way they, they, it's the reason why it's called stone placement. And I think a lot of people that start doing stones, they really kind of just slow it down and just think like, you know. I was gonna say to take time to think. Like if I place this here, would this look good with this? Less is more. I want them to adopt that, less is more. Cause it's hard. It's easy to like indulge and just put a bunch of everything all over, over the place, but it's hard to control yourself, right? Mm -hmm. When you're doing like when you're being artistic and you're being creative, it's hard to control yourself, like to not go over the board and do so much, and actually in in the long run not have your nails look the way you want it to look. <laughs> they said not just throwing them up there. You'd be surprised. There is a nail tech that I use, MMA, and she always... Her name is MMA? Yeah. Her nail tech, his name is MMA. Use MMA. Oh, her nail tech uses MMA. Yeah, and she always pills on rhinestones, piles on rhinestones on rhinestones on clients, but doesn't put that herself when people do her nails. That's weird. Um, most likely she she that's a lot I know this one girl in Orlando she she pop she used big stones big stones yeah those those Party are already beast stones no those are called flat backs no the, these are flat backs those are called um What's they're this? fixed the fixed backs the pointed backs the pointed backs yeah, yeah. so those they're like kind of <laughs> you won't be able to last for those stones oh no I wouldn't that's just like she used Gorilla Joe and everything like yeah, that's just for it to stay on. It's, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, those are, it's a style too. You, there's actually ways to keep those on um, by using acrylic. Oh, acrylic, like and how build you a job. it? No, this, you really have to know a way to, to do it. Is, let me see that one. You really gotta know a way to do it. It's not that simple as in like, oh, you know. Um, <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. A lot of people wanna do that. It's, it's not that easy. To I just using, see have uh, fixed backs like that it just you have to really know how to do it to secure it um there's actually a style and technique that's a class you can take for that really yeah mm -hmm. i mean i don't really care for take class for rhinestones but there are people that are actually really really skilled with rhinestones yeah and you just like want to see how they apply or their product or, how, or their technique or something like that able to last how are you able to make it well there are people that just they they teach rhinestone placements, but I'm just like, you you should not be teaching. Like, why are you teaching? <laughs> like, you look at their work and you're just like, oh god, no. Use rhinestones, that's not. No, it's just they don't even know how to do it right. 
and they want to teach it. I was like, I would never want to teach something I have no experience in. Or hey, people I, pay. People pay. Supply and demand. That's what it is. People pay. You're right. People pay. I can't hate. If there's someone that wants to pay, then they want to pay. You know what I mean? Someone wants to pay, they want to pay. That's, that, and there it is. There's the truth in that, too. I just started really doing stones maybe a couple, like maybe a while back. Not even that long. I like it, but it's just like my, not my forte. Yeah, it's, Gives me it's the, too anxiety. Cause you to have anxiety sometimes, initially. No, it's just, I don't do a lot of it. I don't even carry that much stones and stuff like that. But I think uh, coming up soon, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna provide a lot more stones and stuff um, for my, my website. We're moving, I'm moving my warehouse. And it's gonna be bigger and bigger, so. I know, you said you're moving up north, right? Mm -hmm. Up north. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for that. Yet, no? no, I gotta get the final contracts done. Oh, okay. And I have to provide more stuff. I know. It's exciting for me. I've been working on that for so long. <laughs> I know. If you don't realize, you kind of like that work in silence. I bet you everybody's gonna be like, why didn't you just do it here? No. No, so I know why you didn't do it here. It makes sense, but why, why, you know what I you're going to get. Put myself in the competition. Uh, do stickers still give you anxiety? Oh, my God. <laughs> Who the hell is saying all that? They know me too well. <laughs> Who else? Marisol? Yeah. Oh, my God. No, Marie oh, no, Moore. More, yeah. Yes, yeah, stickers still give me anxiety. I hate stickers. I actually don't know how to use stickers. Is that what it is? Yeah. I bullshit it and people believe me, but I really don't really know how to use stickers. It's just that I don't like it. I don't like using stickers. I don't know why. I love when people say things. I know the fact that they've known me for a long time just by the way they say it. <laughs> that anxiety, boy. Boy, you know. When you've been around through the nail dad journey. Hey, hon. And that's true. Artists do not use stickers. The reason why I didn't use stickers back then is because I wanted to learn how to do a lot of freehand art, okay? So <laughs> if I start using stickers, what's going to do is I'm going to get lazy and all I'm going to do is do stickers. So back then, I used to, clients used to come in, can I get a Chanel uh, design? I'm like, oh, sure. I'm going to do the nails and uh, by the time it comes to me to design, they think I'm going to pop a sticker on and all of a sudden I take out like my art pen and I'm like doing it like by hand. They're like, oh, you do it by hand? And I'm like, yeah, is there a problem? Like, no, I mean, it would be easier to do with the sticker. I'm like, yeah, it would be, but then I wouldn't be learning how to do hand art. <laughs> that was a funny time in my life where I just did want to do everything by hand. Now I'm just like, <sighs> lazy. Brown one's on the line. Try to get the hell out of here. <laughs> here go, then I go to Publix and get the cake. That's what, that's what I'm texting her now. You got time to be on the slide. Get the hell out. Mm -hmm. oh, almost done. I'm going to save that big one for last. <laughs> Big bang. So what I'm doing is flash curing. So when I'm finished with everything, I'm gonna cure one more time. Both hands in the curing machine. So I'm just flash curing so it doesn't move. <laughs> what? She puts a smile, a sad face and says, I have to get the cake. Yes, you have to get the cake. <clears throat> I'm gonna go after this. No, when I pick this design, so much damn work. 
Well, it's done though. One finger left. Flask here is 10 seconds. Flash yeah. cure is 10 seconds. Flash cure can be 5 seconds. It can be 1 second. You just put it in there so that the, the anytime you're flash curing, anytime it, the light turns on on this product, it automatically, automatically just seal it up really fast. I'm not trying to cure it directly. I'm trying to just flash cure it just really quick. So yeah, it's, it's 10 seconds, 5 to five to 10 seconds flash cure. I really don't care. As long as the light turns on and it turns, you know, I can take it back out. So once it just holds it in, it's not gonna completely cure it, but it won't move while I'm working my other hands. So I just go, boop, in, one, two, three, four, five, and out. So my last finger, I gotta bring out the other stones real quick. See the other hand? They said you had a moment. You did. What it moment? Okay. It was a quick moment you had. A what? When you was putting on the um the little beads, you have those moments. Oh yeah, <laughs> I have those all the time. What are you talking I about? I don't. I know your moments. They know your moments. It's a builder gel. Yeah, it's a builder gel. That's literally what Julie glue is, guys. Julie glue is just literally builder gel. Just sometimes some they dilute it a little bit, so it's. And less thick so you can use it more but don't don't let people tell you otherwise it's not, don't let them fool you no, no, fool you. Here. i mean <laughs> it's it's good <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not gonna tell you some magic it's just because i label it jewelry glue that's gonna be a magic solution and no it's not i'm pretty dead honest when i ever sell anything like yeah you can get it here too or you can support me whatever the hell you want <laughs> Oh, Jesus, guys. Yeah. Like I said, support those who support you. I feel like if you got to get it really quick and I don't have it, get it here. Here, I'll tell you exactly where to get it. Get it from the Amazonians. <laughs> Not the Amazonians. Thank you, man, for always reading it. No problem, guys. I like y'all. Yeah, thank you, ma'am, with your old ass. They're, I'm not they're, old. They're calling you ma'am. Right? Oh, my. Why would you point that out? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Jesus. It's only 52, guys. It's okay. Women, it women are too subconscious about their age. Um, Who gives I'm actually shit? excited. I'm like, who really gives a shit how old you are, really? What you, it matters when you go somewhere and they think you're older than what you are. Who cares? What you mean, who cares? No, that is important. You do not want to look older than your age. And that matters, why? Because no one wants to look old. <laughs> Alright, maybe, maybe I'm just wrong crowd. Thank you, love. You're a guy. You don't care. I look 16 anywhere I go, so I don't really have that I problem. I wouldn't give you 16, but I'll give you a good solid early 20s. I tell, I tell people I'm in my mid 30s, they, they kind of get like, kind of like, they, yeah, I give you. They're like, and now you got the whole beard and little, what you call it, underneath the chin, the chin hair going. I gotta shave before I go you to gotta my shave class. You go. yeah, oh, so then you're gonna look young again. Yep. Oh, you did that on purpose? It takes me six months to grow a goatee. Really? No. I tell people that. <laughs> and they feel bad. I tell people that and they feel bad for me. <laughs> That's why I don't think know. you're 17. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I like, I like playing on that pity. Thank you. I will. I'll be in Miami. Going to restaurants, honestly. Eating. And with that, we are finished, guys. So before I cure, I'm going to make sure this is going to be nice and straight. This this set was about two hours set. No, it was an hour. 
flat. We're an hour in right now, an hour and 42 minutes. Oh, you said hour and 40, hour flat. Ain't no well, the, on top it said hour, but then we got to take, cut down some minutes because you remember how to wash my hands. So now everything is done. I'm just going to give it a full 60 seconds of curing. So it's going to cure and seal everything in. And I top coat. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Another year. Mm. Yeah, some good stuff on you. My wife is so mad when I come home with gel polish all over me. She be mad. Go wash that off. All right, switch hands. So now I just top coat. Try not to go over the nail. And all that wax I can probably clean off with a napkin. And the stone be nice and shiny again. It's just me playing around. I <laughs> really don't even. Some days I don't have the energy to. Did you press something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it, my my phone said low battery. Oh, okay. I mean, this is like two hours. Less than let me close to two hours because I'm living, but honestly, it would be an hour and a half if I wasn't doing a live stream. To be yeah. honest with you guys. Live streaming takes a lot of my time. Explaining, showing. Being a good teacher. Try my best. Hey, they love you out here. Now that's soon gonna be International 2023. <laughs> Technically, we go by just the internet. I'm already international. Well, yeah, by the internet, but I'm saying physically. Classes and all. I would love to teach like in England or something like that. I I want to see like a different demographic. Really? Yeah, because I want to see what the, like the skill levels there, like like where they're at. Okay. Like, the see, industry, like how like how like how advanced the you know area the culture the wise. culture is like because mm -hmm. over across the sea there's a, lot, there's a different type of animals over there. It is. Different type of nail techs, different type of mentality. You never know. They are different. I used to work around a lot of them. Um, one company that I used to work with, they actually is from over there. They send people. Okay. They're more family oriented than here. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm sure. Oi. Where's my cuticle oil pan? Let's give it some oil. And this is a nice extendo, long set for that dough with some birthday 